Um, as far as far as reptiles and amphibians, I'm going to target these two groups, which are the ones that I find the most interesting. In the Amazon, you can find anacondas usually close to the for to the um, rivers. So usually they bask around the rivers. They're they're found there. There are um, eyelash pit vipers and in arboreal pit vipers are quite interesting. Former genus Botriekis. There are bushmasters, which is the largest poisonous snake found in the in tropical America. There are fairy lances, which are quite dangerous, and there's all, all sorts of um, vipers found in the. Usually, they're found in the um, leaf litter of the forest, so you have to be careful if you find them. There's also quite a lot of snail-eating snakes. There's quite a lot of frog-eating snakes. I think the frog-eating snakes are actually the coolest. Par the parrot snakes. There's quite a lot of. Um, there's uh, actually a fish-eating snake. If that is, <laughs> if somebody can believe this. There's a guy called Lori Viti that has done quite a lot of work on this. I can actually look up some of the information. There are um, bad eating snakes. There's bird eating snakes, the genus Seustus. It starts with a P, 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 P Seustus. There are there's something called oxyrelis, which is the bind snakes that usually they they prey on anoles, which are tiny lizards that are um, they they change color. They're like the American chameleon type lizards. So all all of these things are quite interesting. There's also coral snakes. I think one of the coolest snakes that you can find is definitely the Ungaliophis panamensis, and I forgot the the generic name, but that's pretty cool. Ungaliophis. It's really, I found it once in, um, in, in the tropical, in, in Costa Rica. With the, with, one of the coolest things to find in the tropical rainforest are frogs. And, and um, I, Arthur already sent me some pictures of the of rain frogs. These are Liptodactylics. They're brown. They're found in the leaf litter. And then... Um, on the trees, you can find a lot of tree frogs. They usually stay in bromeliads. There's actually a species of bromeliad tree frog that's found in the cloud forest. It's actually really cool. The tree frogs usually call a lot more. They're much more vocal than the leaf frogs. The leaf frogs, sorry, the rain frogs almost never call. Within the tree frog group, you'll find some of the, I think in, in my opinion, the prettiest frogs that you can ever find in the universe, including the Gaudi leaf frog, the um, Agalignes calcalifer, which is found up in the understory. You can find the Philomedusa genus, which is actually quite cool. It's like one of the best genuses. Um, and if it's the best moment to search for these frogs is when it's raining really hard in a pond or in a river, they come out and they start calling on top of a, of a, of a leaf. Usually the Gaudi leaf frogs have the, like this onion-like smell. And, um, and then they, they have this very intense call that's really easy to find if you just go out with a flashlight. However, you have to be careful because whenever everything is calling, also the predators come out, including the snakes. Um, there's, there's quite a lot of toads. I think the regular toads are um, very common. Bufo marinos is one of the most common ones. But in the, within the toad group, you'll find harlequin frogs, which are actually quite neat. Harlequin frogs, genus Atelopus, is one of the um, poster childs for the disappearance of frogs. And it's like affected by climate change or by uh, chytrid fungi. I don't know what's the latest. I, I used to follow a lot of this literature. Um, there's all, to, all types of, of interesting toads. And within the frog group, you can also find, I'm trying to think of other interesting um, frogs to look. Okay, so the bullfrog is quite interesting. It's called Leptoactylus pentalactylus. It's huge, I think it's the largest frog in tropical America. And it has like this, um, it, 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 the call is kind of like a cattle or like a, a calf. Yeah, it's like, it's like that. Um, 
all of that is the best place to find that is usually when it starts raining at night near a near a pond or a river then the other really interesting group of frogs besides the tree frogs are the glass frogs and they're one of the characteristics is they don't have any pigments in the in the in, in this part of their body so you can actually see a lot of the organs which is quite cool um leaf frogs also like come out and they have like all these interesting calls and um i know a guy who actually moved to costa rica just to study leaf frog um glass frogs which is quite in, quite quite interesting i'm trying to think of other interesting frogs to mention but nothing comes to my head as far as lizards there's like obviously the skinks which are quite cool they're in the understory there's anoles that are more perched there's um, something called coritofanes, I forgot the common name for it, coritofanes. There's um, iguanids, including basiliscus, which is closely related to iguanas, and then the tenosaurs. Um, trying to think, and they're, they're usually easily found in the leaf litter. If you start digging through the leaf litter, you can find them. As far as also salamanders are a lot harder to find in the trop tropical America than in um, temperate America but you can still find them if you know how to look um, with the birds I'm gonna I, I'm gonna mention some of the best ways to find birds as I mentioned in the last video if you go leave really early during the day you can find quite a lot of birds but one of the neatest phenomena in the tropical rainforest is one is called the mixed flock and the other one is called the ant swarm. So the, mi the mixed flock is much more organized and it's usually um, warblers and um, some ant birds and then some tanagers that are all following a, a leader. Usually in the middle elevation it will be the bush tanagers. The lower elevation is usually... Um, I think they're, t they're also tanagers, not bush tanagers, but other tanagers that are the, the leaders in the lower part. And then some finches actually join. So a big, um, a big mixed flock can compromise as as much as 50 different species. I think I forgot what was the the last count. The other very interesting phenomena that you can find in in the tropical rainforest are the ant swarms. So basically, when there's ants leaving. Um, when, when there's army ants in a certain place, there's all this species that come specifically because of the ants from there's a lot of thrushes that come in. There's a lot of ant birds, which are specialized in ant swarms. And I want to mention the oscillated ant bird, which is one of the largest and prettiest ones that you can find. And there's several oven birds. Oven birds, in my opinion, are some of the most interesting, nicest animals of the birds of the cloud forest because they actually um, forage which is a technical term for look for for plant for um, insects inside the um, the bushes which is neat anyway hope you enjoyed this video